everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Creep It 100. Today, your host, me, Jeanette Chagoya, and I'm here with Mark and Kinson. Say hi, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? Hello. Today, we got some really good conspiracy theories, and we're going to start it off with life after death. Now, I don't know if this is really a conspiracy, because life after death could be anything, you know, and, and like everyone's belief it's whether heaven or hell and then of course it goes into resurrection and everything else that everyone has their own beliefs basically you know but um i do want to ask you guys real quick before i get into this what are your thoughts on life after death Uh, i'm not a super religious guy um but uh what I would hope is for like reincarnation because like like your like your energy doesn't go away you know like there's a transfer of energy everywhere energy just doesn't leave the earth so that's I mean that's kind of what I'm thinking and hoping so you know right I guess I'll find out what happens when I die <laughs> right hmm. right that's um yeah well. <laughs> <laughs> Kinson, Kinson, what are your thoughts about yeah it? yeah uh, yeah, so my thoughts basically are, I, I don't know, I really don't put too much thought into it, and I think that's honestly where I like to stay, is I don't really know, and I'm not going to claim to know, and I, but the one thing that I do know is that nobody does know, and you know what, I'm cool with that, so I'm just going to wing it, and like Mark said, I'm just going to find out one day, probably never, because I plan on living forever, but if that doesn't happen, I'll figure it out. Right. Right. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a good thought right there. Honestly, it's I feel like it's um, at the same time it's not only an interesting thing to think about, but it's also scary because who wants to think about death? You know, we all know that we're all headed that way, but nobody wants to think about it. And um, no, it's actually so scary. Yeah, it, it really scary. is because I feel like if we would have known, I don't. If I think about it too much, I freak myself out. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> it's I know what you mean. But, like, um, whenever, Kinsen, you said nobody really knows, that is very true. But I did figure out and I I did my research and apparently there were a few people you figured who had it out? experienced. No, I, I didn't <laughs> figure it out, but, like, <laughs> I wish I could. But <laughs> you got it. I, oh, I did some research and I figured it out, guys. I figured it out, you guys. guys I know I what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week oh. to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Venmo no, me thirty five dollars like, um, and I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> PayPal me. <laughs> but um <laughs> there <laughs> there were a few stories of people who have actually passed away and came back to life. You know, like whether I don't know what, what it is that caused their death. Okay, I don't know who they are, I just read about it. And there were a few people who have said that they have gone to heaven or they saw heaven. And there were others who saw hell. And there were other people who saw something way different, way different. Like, for example, um, someone had said they got into a car crash and immediately everything just shut down down like their whole body just shut down but what they saw was just a dark room so it was just nothing but darkness it was just their consciousness in a dark room now a lot of people were like oh that sounds so relaxing i'm like no it doesn't that sounds creepy that sounds sounds scary why would you want to wake up in a dark room that sounds like one of those rooms you go to after you pack a punch on kino yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hot second i don't know if you if you play call of duty zombies Jeanette, but that's exactly <laughs> what that sounds like you just vibe it in I that dark got room. the idea <laughs> <laughs> but um so that was one that was one and then there was another one which um i thought was kind of way more creepier than the dark room but someone had said i woke up in an empty apartment complex or a building like an empty building and they were like okay so can you draw it for us or can you explain it to us what you saw and they're like it was just a 
a bunch of empty rooms. Like, the wallpaper was, like, it was weird. It had, like, this weird grandma type of wallpaper. The carpet was wet. It smelled like wet carpet. Oh. And it was yellow. And I'm like, oh, God. That Back happened rooms. to me and Kenton once. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we took a weekend trip there. <laughs> That may have been also, our story. I, th I think they're also just talking about my kitchen. Mark's been in it. It has the grandma wallpaper. It has the, like, it smells kind of like wet carpet. Yeah, it has the back rooms and everything. It's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah, just my, that's yeah. just my <laughs> kitchen, y'all. But um, that's, and they actually drew it. They drew it. They drew it. And it was exactly, I don't know if you guys have, I mean, it's a really big popular thing now. Like, now everyone's talking about it. But it's. It literally looked exactly like level level zero of the back rooms. If you guys don't know what level zero of the back rooms oh. is, it's basically the the typical back rooms that looks yellow. It has the buzzing noise of the the lights, the wallpaper. It's you know, so it kind of it there. I don't know. I don't have an explanation for that one. It's like okay, so you die and you go to the back rooms. Is that it? <laughs> So you re-die because there's horrible. encounters in there. <laughs> yeah, seriously, like, oh, oh, you died. Next level. <laughs> Next level? Re-die. <laughs> Every what time you it, die, okay, you have to go through a new level. Yeah, the, the Mark, next level. New theory. New theory. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's you like one of the campaign missions theory. where the mission is survive. <laughs> so you know it's the end. Oh See, that, that could also go with it. That could be a theory oh. that people could think about. It's like, what if your life is just levels? You know? <laughs> I don't want it like, to seriously. be. What if your life is just levels? What, but what level uh, as the point that I want to get to, um, everyone has their own beliefs. This is not, in fact, factual. This is not a fact. This is not, okay, what I say is right. No, everyone has their own thought on life after death, you know, whether it comes to religion or you're just like, oh, yeah. When we die, I'm gonna re. Uh, fuck. I get reincarnation and re re resurrection mixed up. Um, I'm I, can, gonna, I can see why. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna turn into a bird or something, or something that's living. You know, like something that's living. Because as Mark said, that does make sense. It's technically your spirit i guess you could say you could say it's like your spirit that's controlling the your body basically so it's just your body that's rotting away excuse me bro why are you bringing then, it up like, like of that of course your <laughs> your 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 consciousness consciousness goes to who knows who knows we don't know until we die of course but my thoughts on it I feel like life after death to me is definitely leading on to a whole new life as a human, mm. you know, to a whole different life as another mm. person, another person, different, everything, everything different. And my thoughts on this is um, so they said that when babies are being born, they see a light. And of course, that light, we all know where that leads to, the hospital room you're being born in. And at the same time, they say that when someone is dying, they see, you know what they say, the light at the end of the tunnel. That light probably leads to the hospital room you're being born in. So, of course, that that includes the whole, like, being obviously reborn and... The theory is that the reason why babies cry so much when they are fresh out of the womb <laughs> is because they remember <laughs> everything they lost, all all the friends, all the family members, their kids, everything they had, they lost, you know, they lost it. And then eventually in due time, you don't obviously you don't remember anything from whenever you were born. Right. Right. So I don't I don't even know if I was truly so ever that, a baby. I remember. <laughs> exactly like it's like wait when did i i remember when did i develop a memory <laughs> i remember everything yeah but like that's just one that's just one little tiny theory but i had another one another thought is i think it's all just a cycle 
like all like a cycle. I think we're we're reliving the same life, reliving it because Ooh, um that's a good theory. I hate it. Yeah. But that's and a good um theory. here, let me let me It's going to keep me up at night. <laughs> yeah, I know. Is that what deja that vu means is? I did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> but um so obviously, let's see. So we all know that, well, not all of us, but I did my research and deja vu I thought it was, um, I thought it wasn't, like, no one figured out what deja vu is, but what they say is deja vu is caused by memories getting stuck on one side of your brain. So, therefore, if you go to, um, you go to somewhere new, somewhere new, you know, and you've never been there, you've never been in that state or in that city, but you go there and you're like, wait, I have been here, obviously. That's what deja vu is. That's the point, is that memories get stuck on the left side of your brain that makes you remember things that you lived, but they're new. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making yeah, any yeah. sense Yeah, yeah, it's like a lag in the uh, brain that makes you feel like that the memories that you're currently seeing have happened in the past. Right, yep. right. And um, that kind of... Um, I'm going to bring deja vu into this because... I feel like deja vu is more than just that. I feel like deja vu is definitely more than just that. And the theory goes that when someone is dying, they're like, oh, there's a 30 second, um, there's a 30 second moment where their whole life flashes before their eyes before they pass away. Now, let's say I'm dying, right? And then- Oh, rest in peace. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> Mark and Kinson are right there in the hospital room and they're like, oh my god, she's having the 30 second flashback. And then 30 seconds pass and I die. There. 30 seconds. 30 oh my god, there it is, exactly. there it is. I thought yeah. she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, who gets her episode? <laughs> Who's getting her episode? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, like for me, the person who is going through that death, those 30 seconds, I'm reliving it second by second, minute per minute, hour per hour, month per month. It's it's going exactly lifetime. It's lifetime. So what if right now we're all dying and we're all going through those 30 seconds of of of, you know, of life before your eyes type of thing like what if it's just that it's a it's a it's a cycle and that's why we get deja vu because it's like we've been here before we've done this i've said this i know what she's gonna say after that you know i don't know if it's if deja vu works that way with you guys but when someone oh, is yeah. talking to me and i have deja vu that second it's like i know what you're gonna say and they say it and it's like oh well that's scary you know and i have that a lot yeah, and there's a lot of people who get deja vu constantly, constantly, Me. and yeah, scientists Kinson were and like, my girlfriend uh, do, yeah. and they both be swearing, bro. They both be swearing. I can see the future, bro. I can see. <laughs> like, <laughs> because I can, bro. I can. Yes, <laughs> I can. Because it'll happen, hey, and then and then someone will say something, and I'll be like, and I'll be like, I know exactly what's about to happen next, and I'll be like, and I'll I'll literally call shit in my own mind because I just saw it, and I know it's true. I know it's true in my heart and soul, and Mark doesn't believe me. But it's fine. It's fine. You've given me no proof. You're, you're, you've like, oh, I've already seen this before. I'm like, all right, then tell me what's about to happen. And he won't. He won't. Because then it won't it's happen, bro. Have you ever seen a movie, you idiot? I, I've seen plenty of movies, bro. <laughs> you, That's this isn't a works. movie, bro. This is, this, right now, we're living in the 30 seconds of, <laughs> of no, when you're dying. No, okay, this is your 30 no. second flashback. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. not a movie, bro. <laughs> right now. No, don't right say now. that to me. You're dying right I, now. All right, then I'm going to start doing crazy shit that I would have never done. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Wrong. You're already crazy. I'm going to jail. I didn't oh. do that in my 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, I'm mm. surprised we haven't ended up in jail. Nope. All right. <laughs> Back on topic. <laughs> Back why? on topic. No incrimination. But, um, I don't know why. Um, What's it called? Whenever you said, well, tell me what's going to happen. And you don't. I don't know why that kind of gave me a, uh, a memory of like dreams. You know, like whenever you wake up and you had a crazy dream and you're like, oh my god, I had the craziest dream. And then they're like, what happened? Wait, what did happen? <laughs> and it's like the more you try rem the more you try to remember, the more it goes away. So I don't know if you guys have experienced that, but I think it's kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. 
but um besides the point i think that's like a really uh that's a that's a theory to think about again this is not factual this is just my own thoughts on it and of course everyone else has their own thoughts so you guys already gave me your thoughts and those are very good ones you know like of course and it could go with religion where people think about their own like heaven or hell and then yet again my last my last thing that i want to say is that i also feel like you life after death it depends on what you think is gonna happen you know so if you if you really think i've been a good person it, when i die i'm going to heaven i'm going to heaven or your whole life you're like no i've been a bad person i'm going to hell i'm going to hell you're gonna go to hell or if you truly think it, you're gonna be a whole new different person that might happen it it's all then again we don't know we don't know you know until we die of course but i think that's a pretty crazy thing to think about don't think about it too much because then you'll get a little bit too freaked out because i did that <laughs> <laughs> same I, I constantly do that right but that is it for my first theory i want to go to mark what what theory do you have for us today all right, friends, I've got the Hollow Earth Theory, and I know that we briefly touched on this uh, last two weeks, oh, two weeks ago, uh, but yeah, I'm going to be super in-depth, and I'm going to make this one kind of quick, uh, because there's not too much to it, okay? The theory goes that 4.5 billion years ago, uh, there was a planet called Theia, which was like a Mars-sized planet. It had collided into Earth, and it had created Hollow Earth, and the theory states that... Um, this is where aliens come from. Instead of coming from outer space, like most people think, a lot of people think that they live within our core. Uh, and uh, some some people believe that there's even a, a, a race of superhumans down there, uh, like of like humanoid alien creatures. That's where I came from. Uh, and they all, all have... Actually, that's where I was born. Yeah, that's, that's uh, <laughs> why I'm so super, and that's why I'm so funny and handsome, you know? Cut that out, cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, um, but yeah, essentially, uh, that's where the super race of humans are from and where aliens come from. Uh, a lot of people believe that Nazis actually found a way to access Middle Earth, and that's where they some of them fled after World War II. Um, the conditions in Middle Earth aren't quite livable, though, so I'm not, I'm positive that's not the case. Uh, the pressure and the heat would be too immense for any normal human being. Uh, so, so if any Nazi tried to go down there, they're going to literally explode. Yeah. Uh, but some people believe that there's an entrance at the North Pole where you can access it. And this is where all the UFO and alien life comes from. Actually, a funny, funny little fact about Hollow Earth is that um, Godzilla and Kong have been said to be inspired by Hollow Earth. Ooh. So that's fun. That's a fun little a little fun <laughs> fact for you. Okay. Uh, that's essentially it. Um, I could touch on the Agartha theory if I wanted to, but that's a whole different thing that I would mm. probably get into some other week yeah. that involves Middle Earth and a bunch of different alien races down there. So if you want to hear about that, let me know. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up pretty nicely. Some people would go as far as to say they've claimed to have seen Nazis go into Middle Earth. Uh, I feel like this is a great t uh, place to take a break, as my next theory, it does involve Nazis. Uh, so, you will hear about that when we come back. Hey everyone, this is Kinson from the Creep It 100 podcast. Today I'm here to talk to you about Skillshare. Skillshare is a platform where you can explore thousands of hands-on creative classes to better yourself in any area. These areas include TV, film, animation, creative writing, music, design, illustration, photography, anything you could think of. Whether you're here to just learn a new skill or learn how to start a small business, they have classes for everyone on Skillshare. Exclusive for our listeners, guys, you can go on and you save 50% when you sign up for an annual plan. Make sure to click the link in our description below to sign up for your free trial and join Skillshare today. It really is one of the best places to learn any new skill 
and I promise you guys will not regret it. Sign up for Skillshare today. All right, and welcome back. Uh, so we're going to dive deep into this conspiracy theory. Uh, it's about a secret Nazi base in Antarctica. Uh, so signals from Axis powers were discovered to be coming from Antarctica by us. Uh, we kind of shrugged it off because we weren't really sure, you know, what was going on in, in Antarctica or why, you know, people would even be there. Uh, in fact, we did not even know that they were Nazis at the time. Uh, the, the way we found out that they were Nazis is um, when we went to Antarctica, we found German mines, uniforms, ammo, and they were... It, literally, that was all discovered in 2016. 2016. That's so recent. I know! So, like, Isn't that yeah. crazy? So <laughs> So yeah, the Germans were said to be studying weather. They wanted to bomb enemy targets without encountering a storm. Also, studying weather back then and knowing the weather forecast. Uh, also, denying a weather forecast was considered a military win. What? Uh, because, you know, if, if I were to deny... So, Kinson, if you and I were at war... Yep, we are. And if, if I were to deny, you know, you seeing this big storm, and you decide to send out... Uh, you send out an air force, right? And it starts storming on them. Okay. There's no way that that mission is going to be as successful as it would have been if it was just sunny. Got know? it. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep, I'm back. Cool. Uh, you know, it's, it's crazy that the Nazis were doing this because it was only a few hundred miles from Soviet territory. And the Soviets and the Nazis were enemies at the time. So the secret base was only discovered two years after World War II. Uh... And what they were doing there were they were sending um, a bunch of weather reports to uh, Germany before the war ended. That's the only proof that they have there. I mean, there also could have been other crazy shit going on there because, you know, Nazis and their crazy shit uh, and they're, all their crazy experiments and stuff. Uh, some people believe Nazis still run bases in, Ant in Antarctica and they're just waiting for the right moment to strike again to exact their revenge, which is horrifying. And unlikely. Very unlikely. We'll see. Unlikely. Hey, don't say that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another, this is kind of off topic, but I know a ton of Nazis fled to South America after World War II. Uh, and I think that includes, that doesn't, Dr. Mengele. Yeah. That was, he, he fled to South America, right? Yes, he did. But we could talk about him. Because he was found uh, floating in the ocean. Oh, he was, oh, that's right. He was found dead in the ocean. Mm hmm. And it's, it's still, like, unconfirmed if America sent the agent to kill him. But, like, I don't know why we wouldn't take credit for that. Yeah. Because that's, that's a big win there. It's a big win. That dude was horrific and, and like mark said i i do actually want to do a few mangala episodes i might make it one of my true crimes uh in a few one, months more like five uh, yeah <laughs> it might have to be a pretty long episode it's a very 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 crazy history <laughs> and uh don't look it up because we'll tell you about it yes don't do that uh do you guys know who cthulhu is yes cthulhu, cthulhu whatever you want to call him you know yeah I actually don't. Okay. Am I un uncultured or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's okay, bro. You don't have to be cultured on uh, on giant river monsters for this podcast. <laughs> yeah, so uh, C Cthulhu is a god okay, octopus right. dragon human thing. Uh, he's basically this big god that slumbers in the ocean. And uh, I'm not sure what it's the god of. Maybe sleeping in the ocean. Uh, but yeah. What I had read online is that humans fear it will awaken from its slumber in the sea. Scary, right? Yeah, Cthulhu has a very, like, insane history, actually. Oh my god, it, this is giving me water gate Isn't this vibes. horrible? You want to hear something even scarier? Some rumors went around claiming that Nazis were trying to get, uh, they were trying to contact him. Yeah. Yep, I actually did hear about that. Ooh. That they were trying to get a hold of Cthulhu. I did not. Oh my god. Where are you now? It it oh my god, could you imagine if they did? 
<laughs> um, no, I would not be here. We're fucked. <laughs> yeah, we, we'd be done. It'd be it'd be instantly over. Uh, yeah, I mean, rest in peace, you guys. Well, Cthulhu is also. <laughs> I'm German, so like, I I think I'd. Still it's great knowing. Well, speaking from the Polish perspective, I am <laughs> not gonna be really top of the food chain in this new order that you're trying to create over there with I'm you not and your buddy it. Cthulhu. I'm not doing shit. Cool. Tell me you wouldn't shake hands with him. Tell me you wouldn't with Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> I tell me right now. He, uh, he doesn't have a hand. He has a tentacle. Okay, shake it. Well, wouldn't you want to shake his hand? Shake I won't get the tentacle. chance. It's not important. Well, well, you wouldn't get the chance if the Nazis got a hold of him. <laughs> I'll get a hold of him. See, these are if you get a hold of him, that's different. <laughs> See, you're gonna shake if, his hand. And you're gonna be fine. Honestly, here's the thing: that wouldn't happen because if they got Cthulhu, I would get involved. You weren't even alive, bro. I would get involved. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, a weird question. If you're not, <laughs> if you're not alive, you're dead, right? No. Only after. No, I think you're one hundred. Only after. Alive. So, what are you before you're alive? <laughs> uh, pre. Yeah, I'll take pre. Uh, yeah. Just pre. Yeah. You're a thought. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this theory. Uh, <laughs> We got a little bit off topic there. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the Nazi base in a Antarctica. There is some weird proof behind it, so they were they were definitely operating um, there. Uh, and it's crazy to me that they didn't realize they were operating there until two years after the war. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that, honestly. I don't like that either. They n So nobody knew they were there. <laughs> they had an idea because of the... Um, the signals that were coming through, but they just shrugged it off like it was nothing. I feel like they knew. I know. I mean, granted, if like, if, if <laughs> yeah. But why would you shrug that off? Obviously, anything unusual, I would be so concerned about anything little that's like off, off the normal. I'd be like, all right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well, that wraps it up for the Nazi base in Antarctica. Uh, let's go on to Kinson. Let's see what he has to talk about today. All right. So, um, mine is a little bit weird and it's, it's going to come across a little more of like a story. This is just like, this is a conspiracy that happened in, uh, what might be the second worst place in America, which is New Jersey. Number one being Kentucky. We learned about that, Mark. We sure did. Literally. We were, so we were on our way to Georgia. Uh, and we got stuck in this uh, traffic. There must have been... I think there was a blizzard the night before, wasn't there? There was, yeah. The entire road's iced over, so it was like start and stop traffic. No one over five miles. So yeah, we were just sitting there in the car, and this dude literally runs up to Kinson, opens his door, and punches him in the dick. Yep. Closes the door. And... Yep. Yes. Is this a real story? Did this really happen? This is why Kentucky's the worst state. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I've never had oh a good experience God. in Kentucky. I'm so sorry and you went through that. And I never will. And I never will because I'm never stopping there again. And I promise you, next time I go to Georgia, I'm either driving around it or I'm flying over it. I'm not stepping a foot. It's basically the the permuted triangle for you. Just go around it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Kentucky's curse for kids. Yeah, Kentucky is the backrooms of America. We should definitely talk about the backrooms, though. That's a very interesting one for next episode. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about all the... All right, guys, next episode is going to be the Kentucky lore. We're going to go through all the reasons Kentucky sucks. No, so uh, my theory comes from New Jersey, and it is called Ong's Hat. And so that is actually the name of the town. It's this abandoned town in New Jersey that... Uh, was home to some pretty weird shit going on. So basically what happened is there were these two brothers, um, th which was the Dobbs twins. Dobbs twins were these two super, super smart guys, and they actually went to Princeton, and they were studying chaos science, which is, you know, one of the worst things that you can, like, study practically. So it's all, like, kind of, like, theoretical. Uh, but basically the study of chaos. 
Uh, that's what I'm saying. They were basically doing the chaos magic of the real world. <laughs> um, and and they were doing it, and they were so crazy about it that it actually got them kicked out of Princeton. And when they got kicked out, they were like, fuck you. We're keeping going. We're going to keep doing this shit. So they went to this random forest in Ong's Hat, New Jersey, and they just started doing their theories there. They set up like this little like rinky-dink laboratory because they came from money came from money so they had the money to build a new lab so started doing their studies there and it was kind of the same all of a sudden they meet this crazy dude uh named walliford so walliford basically was a diet cult leader from like a town over and he had these like crazy ideas about blending meditation physics and alchemy all together to create new sciences and new realities and things like that and mark it's funny that you bring up scarlet witch because this is literally like multiverse shit that's that they like start like creating oh seriously yeah so it is said that what they did is they all got together the, the Dobbs twins started believing Walliford's stories. They started doing experiments, and they produced this thing called the egg. And the egg was this pod that had the ability to pierce the veil between parallel universes, enabling you to travel to other dimensions. So, what they did is they were fucking around with this egg, and they did it a few times. They went back and forth, had a good old grand time, walked through the realms. And then what happened is there was a nuclear experiment that went wrong at an Air Force base or just at a military base that was like right near them. And this part is 100% true. There was a massive chemical leak of plutonium that was going to infect the entire area of Ong's hat. So they didn't want to move. They didn't want to like, you know, pick up everything because they thought that it would be unstable in other areas. So they opened a gate. And one by one, like I said, this dude Wolliford had a, had like a, basically a cult. He was running a cult. He had all of his followers. They took apart the entire community as well as the lab, and they took it through the gate piece by piece, rebuilt it in this new dimension, closed the gate behind them, were never seen again. What? The only reason we know about this is because they left behind this one guy to create a pamphlet and spread awareness of what happened and invite super smart scientists to come back to this area and remake the egg so that he can go and rejoin his family and his cult on the other side of the veil. So my man really just entered like a portal. Deadass. That's what they said. never came back. That's what they say. And the things that I will say, I, I will tell you what the truths, the 100% truth provens of these stories are. And then not so much. Number one, the Dobb twins existed. They really got kicked out of Princeton. They really moved to this wo- to the woods to start their own thing. They really met this dude named Walliford. This dude Walliford really ran a cult and had all these beliefs about blending meditation, physics, and alchemy. They really did produce something. I don't know if it was the egg, but they did produce something. And that chemical leak really did happen. And then all of those people were never seen again. Hmm. Oh my All those God. things are true. And this dude basically put out this pamphlet and started spreading it around and spreading around. This is what happened because he was desperately trying to get back to his family and like all the people he cared about, which was in this cult. Jeez. So very, very weird. Very creepy. And um, there's actually a lot of disappearances in the old area where they did this. And the dude who wrote the pamphlet actually also explained this too by saying that the egg was not the final product. The egg was not fine-tuned. So it could pierce a veil, but it was kind of wishy-washy. They could open it, close it as they please, but there'd be almost like a ripple effect. And so it is suspected that a lot of these disappearances that happen around that area are people that are going around it and then just get... Sucked in real quick. And they're never seen again. And a little bit of a sad anecdote is out of the disappearances in Ong's hat, there has never been anyone recovered 
No one has ever come back. No one has ever been found alive or dead. Sounds from like these we need to take a trip. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's a little bit of a weird one, but it's a... Did they leave any tracks, though? Like, any tracks, like, at all? Like, you know, like, oh, here's his hat, or uh, his shirt, no, or uh, No, all these no people, tracks at all. All these people were 100%. They were part of the community. They were known to live there. Uh, they The the little call area of the community was 100% real. People had been to it. People had visited it. And then just all of a sudden, one day, it was just gone. Because they had taken it through the portal. But... I mean, all of these structures really did exist. Literally, the only thing that we do not 100% for certain know is that if they didn't go through this portal, where they went instead, because they really did all disappear. And so did all the buildings. All the structures are gone. What? Yeah. Very weird one. This sounds like some Stranger Things slash Backrooms type of thing. Like, there's a whole portal yep. opened yep. up to a whole new div- dimension, like... Which, you guys, we definitely have to talk about this in another episode. Definitely. Yep, yeah. It's a very weird one. I mean, I could I could easily see Ong's Hat going on to be an entire episode if we wanted to at one point. But it's just, it's a very weird story. A lot of weird people involved. And um, to this day, people show up on, like, on the spot. Because there's now houses there. People show up to that spot and they're pissed. And they like want to know the answer. They think that whoever's living there has the has the answer to like dimensional travel and shit. Okay, Jeez, talking dude. about that, like about uh, have you guys seen those videos of people searching up locations on Google Maps? It's like a bunch of weird numbers, and it leads them to like this weird oh, type of backroom thing, like randonautica. Yes, and there's like a camera with wings, like randonauting. I don't know if yes, yeah. yes, Antarctica. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, we we've done that. It, it, yeah, it, we have done that. It kind of works. Really? Because like I tried searching it up and it wasn't there. It took me to a whole different location and I put exactly like the location that it was, and it took me to a whole. It took me to J- Japan. It it took me to Japan instead of Antarctica. So I thought that was kind of weird. So I feel like like whoever whoever is in charge of this is like they found out we have to do something about it. I'm telling you guys, life is not just, like Owan said, spoilers, it's just wake up, eat, drink, reproduce. <laughs> I don't think it's just that. I think it's definitely something more. You sound a lot like Vecna right oh now. Oh my god, really? I know, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> mm, I'm talking uh, about portals and shit too. I'm on you. I know. I'm on you. Alright, we'll I mean, see. I... Well... I think it's time that should be a, a whole new episode that uh we go into Jeanette's final theory you got a pretty strong one here to close us out so let's hear what we got yeah. okay? um for my next theory it's a pretty good one and also a, a little one but it's a good one it's the mandela effect and for those who do not know what they mean the mandela effect the basically the one who discovered the Mandela effect was Fiona Broom. So Fiona Broom had strictly remember that the South African president, Nelson Mandela, passed away in the 80s in prison. So that's what she strictly remembered, is that he passed away in 1980, in 1980 or in 1985, I think. I can't quite remember, but it was in the 80s. She strictly remembers that he passed away in prison, but obviously years go back and we get the news that Nelson Mandela had passed away in December 5th of 2013. And that right there, that's what caused her to make this whole entire thing. But what's crazy is that she made it in 2009. This website, she made it in 2009 because obviously she figured out that Nelson Mandela was still alive. And when he passed away in 2013, it kind of became a, a bigger thing. And everyone else um, started talking about it. So Fiona Fiona Broom, she realized she wasn't the only one who thought, that, thought this theory, basically, that Nelson had passed in the 80s. A lot of people started talking about it. They remember news and, like, news articles. They remember seeing it on 
newspaper that Nelson had passed away in the 80s, but he ended up obviously passing away in December 5th of 2013. And I honestly think... I don't know much about Nelson Mandela, obviously, but there's more Mandela effects other than just that one. Like, for example, um, I had just recently found out that Kit Kat did not have the dash in between. And <laughs> it's kind of making me a little bit mad because I, I strictly that remember that Kit Kat had a dash. It was Kit Dash Cat. It does not have a dash. But I'll, I'll get into the rest. Like, what... Do you guys remember the dash in between the Kit Kat? Yeah, I want to say I do. I 100% remember it. I 100% remember See, it. See, like, like, that one right there. Like, for example, here. The Monopoly Man. The Monopoly game. The game board. Do you guys... Uh, how do you remember the Monopoly Man looking like? With the monocle? Yes. That's what I thought, too. He strictly had a monocle stuck to his eye right here. He never had a monocle. Sight. He never did. He never did. And I'm like, no. Yes, he did. But he didn't. <laughs> 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 so it's just kind of like, um, that one was pretty crazy to me. And I'm going to get into a more deeper one here. Um, uh, let's see. Give me a second. I actually, um, if you want, I have a few that are my uh, least favorite Mandela effects because they make me so mad. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> so, like, a quick three that, like, have always messed with me, three that I've heard about, is, number one, I want both of your answers right now. What color is chartreuse? Red. Like maroon red, right? Like red, red. Psych! It's green. It's like a yellow green. Every single person I've ever asked has said it's been like a red, like maroonish color, but it is like a yellow green. Wow. That one's weird, isn't it? Yeah. What? Yeah. I hate oh that God. one. That one Talking makes me about, mad. Like, no, 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 that's a good one. Talking about colors, another one that kind of messed with me when I watched it 2017? Was it the chapter one? Yeah, 2017. 2017. So we all remember it, Pennywise, with the classic red balloon, right? Classic yeah. red yeah. balloon. And like, obviously, hello, Georgie. And he has the red balloon and all that stuff. And then I go back to look at the one from 1990. He had a yellow balloon. A yeah. yellow balloon. Balloon. Oh. I strictly oh. remember him having, him having a red balloon, but no, it was a yellow balloon, the classic yellow balloon, which kind of messed with me a little bit. But interesting. Um, one of the biggest ones that kind of that I feel like I figured out on my own instead of on social media was the the death of Gene Wilder. Hmm. So, we all know Gene Wilder. If you don't know who Gene Wilder is, he's the the actor who was in the first movie of Willy Wonka in The Chocolate Factory and The Chocolate Factory. Um, so, in my sophomore year, it was around 26, 2016, my sophomore year of high school, um, we, in my drama class, my drama teacher was like, okay, so we're going to do a play. It's going to be Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. We're going to mix up scenes from the first movie and the newest recent one, with, which is the one with Johnny Depp. We're going to mix up some scenes and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, so what brought you to think or to do this play, you know? Because we were going to do Les Mis, but we didn't. So we changed it up to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And my drama teacher had said, we're going to do it in memory of Gene Wilder because he had recently just passed away. And it was 2016. And I'm like, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. He passed away in 2013. I remember. It was 2013. I was 12 years old. My brother, he's a theater kid. He was a theater kid. So he had told me Gene Wilder had just passed away. And it was 2013. 
But no, according to her, she even told me the same thing. She's like, yeah, that's what I thought too. I thought Gene Wilder had passed away in 2013. And then a bunch of my classmates started thinking the same thing. They're like, no, I strictly remember people telling me that Gene Wilder had passed away in 2013. But he didn't. He had passed away a month prior of of us talking about what we were going to do for drama class. So he had passed away a month prior, which I thought was like, okay, <laughs> I guess. But I strictly remember him passing away in 2013. So I feel like that was the craziest one that got me into the Mandela effect because that one I found out myself. I didn't like look like find it on social media or something you know so and it it has not been talked about i have not seen this on social media like the pikachu's tail where everyone thought that pikachu had the black spot on his tail he never had that or mickey mouse having suspenders he never had suspenders like all those popular ones that were on social media this gene wilder one was never on social media and i've never seen it till this day so i thought that one was kind of more crazy because I found out myself and I don't know if you guys probably thought the same thing but if you did please let me know so I don't sound crazy <laughs> I feel like I feel like I did yeah because 26 2016 is it's, no <laughs> I thought that feels too recent to me yeah exactly I'm like no that feels too recent it has to be 2013 or before that and yeah i think that one was kind of crazy because <sighs> but yeah any thoughts on that before we close this up i i always wondered what the mandela effect is or like what causes it i've always mm -hmm. wondered if it's just like a a big like uh a, a big case of misinformation or if like you know the theory states we jumped mm -hmm. into a different timeline i don't know it's weird no, and that's what they said is that like the brain is such is such an imperfect part of the body where we remember things that never happened. So that's what our brain does, you know, like it, our brain is so imperfect. So our memory is not good. It's like 80%. So <laughs> um <laughs> A lot of, like, there was another theory. This has to do with a whole different conversation. It's, um, people were saying how, oh, Earth went into a black hole and took us to a whole different timeline or a whole different dimension where our memories were in our past dimension or our past life or something like that. So we went into a new one and our memories are a whole lot different than from what we think of. Because everyone has a certain memory. It's like, no, I remember it being specifically this. I remember this actor did this or this scene went this way, but it never did. So, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know what y'all's thoughts on that. But that's that's what I read and I thought it was kind of crazy. But I feel like our brain is just like... But, um, uh, what's it called? I thought it was just kind of... I think it's just our brain that remember remembers things that weren't there or yeah. never happened you know yeah 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 so yeah that definitely is a crazy one honestly yeah definitely the, the it could go on and on mandela effect is going to happen until the end of time that's just what it is you know i mean of course unless there's someone who can stop it but i don't think that's that's possible it's like the same thing with deja vu it happens out of nowhere so yep but Okay, you guys. Well, I think that is it for today's episode. And if you want more updates, if you want to listen to more of our episodes, you can go ahead and check our link and follow all of our socials. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And we will catch you guys on the next episode. Thank you guys so much again for listening. Bye. See ya. See ya.